Hi, my name is Florian Kohler, also known as Venom. Here with me is Jamie Lett. I'm a professional trick shot artist, so trick shot is kind of my job. Some of them are pretty easy, and I think it'll be great for you to uh, impress your friends. I'm stoked about this part. This is where you make me look like a superstar? Pretty much, yeah. We're going to try to show you how to impress your friends here. So sometimes some trick shot looks very complex, but they're indeed very simple. This first one is one of the first one I ever learned. It's what we call the four in one shot. So to do that, all you got to do is put the four ball here on the middle, right? Like if you're going to set up a rack, then you're going to take your cue, put it right here in line with it. Make sure your cue touches the four, and then you're going to put the three ball touching the four, okay? It's very important these two balls are touching, so make sure there's no space in between. Now the next step is, again, you're going to use your new knowledge about the diamonds. So you're going to put your cue here, okay? You're going to find the diamond line. Then you're going to kind of go the other way and try to find a diamond line here. So what I usually do is the best, so I roll my cue here, kind of like find the diamond line here, and then I'm going to go the other way. And I look if I'm centered with this diamond to the other diamond out there. So now we're pretty good right here. Next step is I'm going to set up the two ball. So again, I'm going to use my cue here, put it in the middle of the pocket, tip in the middle, cues on the side, just like that. There we go. Put the two ball right here. So again, they have to be touching. And you're going to repeat the same thing for the one ball. Two touching, one ball right here. All right, so that looks a little bit complex now. You got four balls frozen, two balls frozen to the cue ball, three here, four here. What do you think is gonna happen? Okay, so see, that's a good spot. So here's, I'll tell you what's gonna happen. You're gonna make the one here, the two here, the three in the corner, and the four in the corner all in one shot. So really? go ahead, it's your turn. All you gotta do is, uh, is take the cue I'm and... Uh, are you Put sure? your recent knowledge into uh, into work. Yeah. All right. So let's see. <laughs> Jamila did pretty good on the first four and one shot. So we're gonna raise the bar a little bit. So this one is slightly harder. So you're gonna need to be a pretty good player already. So. All I really require on that shot is, uh, is that you can do a little bit of a draw shot. So I'm gonna show you how to set this up. So a little more complex, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start by putting a ball here so you can see the corner here. And I'm gonna go one ball, and then I'm gonna put another ball here, frozen to each other, and then I'm gonna put the one ball right here. Okay, so they're basically staying, straight line right here. Then I need to remove that. Okay, so the next step here is you're gonna do two and three. So you're gonna put the two and the three ball in lines right here, but instead of being at the exact same spot as the one ball, which would be here, they're just slightly over it. So, you know, to make sure it's okay, I go look at here in the one ball, and I need my three ball to be just, you know, going on this side of the one ball a little bit. Okay, it's very complex to explain, but visually you'll see it right here is our graphics. So you got the one ball here, three balls a little bit away, Two and three in straight line. So far, it's pretty easy. Again, you gotta make sure they're touching all the time. So if there's a little gap in between, just make sure you tap the top a little bit. It's gonna kind of put the fibers of the felt down, and it's gonna make it stay in its spot. Now the next ball is the four ball. So the four ball is a little harder to do, but again, it's gotta be in a straight line. And what I do is I'm gonna use my cue as a guide again. So I'm usually going about here, putting cue on the side, and then putting the four ball. So a misconception in the shot is that people think you have to aim the three and the four in a straight line into the pockets, but really it's not. It's aimed right here. So it's basically aimed for the center of the four ball to hit right there. The reason you do so is because there's a lot of things that happen in the shot, especially what we call the throw. The throw is when two balls are together and they're making a combo, but you're pushing them and it's going to push them towards another direction. Again, it's a very complex concept. We're not going to go in details right here. Just, you know, listen to what I say. Put this two ball in line, three ball on the side, four balls aimed towards here, and we're good to go. Now, if you're really good already, we can add this ball here as an extra bonus ball, which is a five ball. It's just hanging by the corner. It's really easy to do. And then you're going to put the white ball. I like to put my white ball right here. So it's below this diamond line. 
probably about halfway, it's about as comfortable as you get. And uh, so before we had the one ball, there was the ball away from the rail. So in this case you want it to be a little bit more, so maybe like a ball and a finger away or something like that. Sounds about pretty good. And uh, really all you have to do on this shot is shoot straight to the cue ball into the one ball. The one ball is gonna hit the left side of the three. It's gonna carry him at a three, go in the middle. The two is gonna go in the middle as well. Now because the way these balls are set up, the three is gonna go in the corner. The four in this corner, and then because you put draw on the ball, the cue ball is gonna come back, make the five ball right there. So I'm gonna try to demonstrate that. Just like that. So if you can't make the same shot exactly, which means the cue ball is drawing all the way to it, you can do the exact same shots. You know, we'll set up the same way right here. Just add an extra ball right there. Don't even have to worry about the five being here. Just replace the five there. Do the same thing and you'll make at least four balls and it looks still really impressive. So, now you have two really good impressive shots. The second one is going to require a little more work for you, but it's a very good shot. So here's a very, very classic shot about how to trick people in, in the bar or your friends if you want to, you know, get a free drink. So what you do is, uh, so I'm going to set the two and the one right here, they're frozen to each other, basically in the middle of this little diamond here. And we're going to put the eight ball on top of it, okay? So just make sure this stays. I'm going to remove all the balls out here. And, and the whole thing is about presenting, you know, the shot. So you're gonna go ahead and uh, you're gonna bet with your friend or anybody or, you know, you're just gonna tell, you know, I, I, I bet you cannot hit the eight ball first without jumping that ball. What do you think? Gotta see him. Okay, well, what happened here is, so again, it's a very classic, uh, you know, they're very easy shots too, anybody can do that. As long as you could shoot in a straight line, you will make that shot. So I'm gonna shoot the cue ball really slow and I'm gonna let you see what happened. Again, the only, the only bet here is to hit the cue ball into the eight ball without hitting the solids. No jump, no foul, no crazy thing like that. Just look at it. Just like that. And you know, it's a very easy, very easy to trick your friend and usually you get a free drink out of it. <laughs> well, I guess we're gonna have a lot of happy people now. Bring drinks on you? Really? Yeah. Now, you know, you have all the keys, just have fun with it, and you know, I uh, wish you best of luck trying to impress your friend. Again, remember, check, uh, if you wanna see more, go ahead and check out my channel here. Subscribe to get more videos. And don't forget to uh, check out pooldog.com for getting all your pool and builder supply. <laughs>